60 minutes overtime. Happy times. I'm ready. Look at me. Good move. I'm ready. <laughs> vibe. Let's vibe. This week on 60 Minutes, we're doing a profile of Kevin Hart. We spent a couple days with him in Los Angeles. Nice. That's great. Kevin was at a shoot with his daughter, Heaven, for Fabletics, which is a, an apparel company that Kevin is involved with. Kevin Hart tells a lot of stories about his family on stage, and a lot of them are embarrassing. Me and my kids talk. In one of his uh, stand-up specials, What Now?, he tells a story about his kids giving him gifts. I recently got mad at my kids because I feel like my kids don't put a lot of thought into the gifts that they give me. Piss me off. I'm serious. He's told jokes about you on yeah. stage. Mm -hmm. What's that like? Well, you know, <laughs> it's great. It's fantastic. You're lying. You Tell you, you got yeah. mad. Some of them you suck. Think. Some of them definitely <laughs> suck. Why is he blowing my business out there? He's a little sneaky guy. It gives her a place to sleep, OK? Yeah. You know where food comes from? But I will say that the older she got, she got more vocal with what she liked, what she didn't. So in all seriousness, she you know, talked to you about it. Yeah, hundred percent. You know, as your kid grows older, you have to be a little more conscious of what you're doing based off of what they feel and what they like and what they don't. And I made a promise to her. So I haven't talked about her since because she gave me like a hard threat. I did. I threatened him. Yeah, so I stood on it. Yeah. I appreciated yeah. it. Though. 60 minutes. Is this what you want? <laughs> huh? this what you Kevin Hart famously works out every day at like 5 a.m. And I'd heard this. I'd seen it on his Instagram. I think Kevin Hart actually does work out every day. He's in really, really good shape. We met up with him for a workout. And it was a tough workout. It was no joke. Come on. And he's going to throw up in the car. <laughs> I just caught a piece of my reflection in that mirror. And I get it. I get it. I get all the hype. You talk to Kevin's friends, they'll tell you that he grew up in a pretty tough neighborhood in North Philadelphia in a one-bedroom apartment with his mom, Nancy Hart, his brother, Robert. Kevin's dad was, was in and out of his life, an addict for a long time, was addicted to, to drugs. His mom wasn't thrilled about stand-up. She didn't like the atmosphere. She didn't like smoking. She didn't like cursing. She didn't like the drinking in the, in the comedy club. So she never actually went to see him perform stand-up comedy. But as Kevin said, she was supportive, very supportive of him from afar. And I told her, I was like, I'm gonna do like comedy. I'm gonna be a comedian. My mom didn't flinch. She didn't flinch. She didn't have a negative reaction. And she helped support you. She gave me a year. You got a year. Her exact words, you got a year to figure it out. I got an apartment and I was struggling. I couldn't pay the rent. She kept asking me, did I read my Bible? And I was like, no, right now is in the time for me to read my Bible. Like I'm going through it. Mom, they're gonna put this pink notice on the door. And then one day, I was like, man, let me just read this Bible so I can tell her I did it. And I know I'm being honest. And I opened up the Bible, all the rent checks fell out. She had like the rest of the year's rent checks in the Bible. Kevin Arjo. When Kevin you know, looks at where he is now, he credits all of the experiences that he has gone through to get him where he is. Where like I grew up and how I grew up, if you had to take in any level of hardship out of the equation, I'm 1,000% sure that I, don't, that I don't get here. You wouldn't change anything? I would not change anything. Because it got you to exactly where you are? I would not change anything. Every piece of good, every piece of bad. If you feel like things are supposed to happen and it's supposed to be perfect, it's not supposed to be. When you hear about where people have come from and where they were able to get to. That story is so great, because it's like this. And mine's is like this. And then it's <laughs> and then like this, and then it's like this, and then it's, and then it's like this. <laughs> it's a lot of it, and I love it, man. I, I, I truly am appreciative for every stage of it, like every single stage.